Perform an open reduction and internal fixation on a comminuted long bone fracture. Safety Guidelines Wearing surgical scrubs is optional but recommended. Don gloves. Sharps injury risk. Take great care. Wear protective eyewear. No open shoes, sandals allowed. You will need all the instruments and items as supplied in the Apprentice Doctor orthopedic kit. In addition to these items, a malleable flat retractor and a straight Kocher forceps will be required. These items are available from the Apprentice Doctor online shop. The suggested surgical team consists of a primary surgeon, an assistant surgeon, and possibly one or two additional surgical assistants. Follow the same steps to access the fracture site as described in Project OR1, then follow these steps once the fracture is properly visualized. Keep periosteal stripping to a minimum as to maintain the bone's periosteal blood supply. Identify the regular and emergency bicortical screws in the fracture reduction kit. Attach the 1.5 mm drill bit on the drill unit and give a final check to ensure that the drill is functioning well. Keep the hand screwdriver and screwdriver tip nearby. Use a flat, malleable retractor to protect important anatomical structures, like nerves and blood vessels, at the far side of the bone when placing bicortical screws. Study the diagram, indicating the sequence of preparing the holes and placing the six screws in this comminuted simulation fracture. Drill through the near cortex if placing monocortical screws and through both the near and far cortices if placing bicortical screws. Proceed by drilling and placing the second and third screws and so on, as per the sequence on the diagram. For additional stability, consider placing a second plate and screws, as demonstrated in the diagram. Once the screws are placed, tighten them with a hand screwdriver, taking care not to use excessive torque force. Critically inspect the reduced fixated fracture. Evaluate the three reduction objectives in the order of importance. Firstly, any malalignment should not exceed 5 degrees as compared to the original anatomical alignment. Secondly, the fracture gap should be less than 1 mm. And thirdly, the fracture step should be less than 1 mm. If you judge the result is unacceptable, now is the time to correct the poorly reduced fracture. Undo the screws on one or both sides of the fracture, maintain the fracture in a properly reduced position, and repeat the procedure. If you and your team are satisfied, proceed to the next step by closing of the surgical wound in layers. Complete the procedure using the same steps as in Project OR1. Consider immobilizing the reduced fracture using a sling, a splint, or a cast.